Hi, this is Katie Fehrenbacher with the Green Overdrive Show, and I'm here with Jerome Guillen, who's product director of the Model S for Tesla Motors. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Great. And we're standing here in front of an alpha uh, version of the Model S, which is Tesla's second generation car, and Jerome actually drove it here to work this morning. That's right. We drove around and I'm leaving after this interview with that very vehicle. That's so awesome. Uh, so tell me how important the Model S is for Tesla and tell us a little bit about the Alpha program. So Model S is basically the main product for Tesla starting next year. It's a big sedan. Uh, it's very luxurious. It's all electric. It's really our main product and it's the future of the company. So this is really the core. And it's coming out in mid-2012? That's correct. Yeah, so a, bit, a little bit over one year from now. Okay. And the Alpha program is you're building 20 kind of Alpha uh, uh, prototypes almost, um, and then you move into beta and then final production? Or tell me how it works. Yes. So right now uh, you're in this warehouse where we are right now. We're assembling the first set of prototypes, which we call Alpha vehicles, and we use them for a variety of tests. Uh, durability, noise, dynamics, crash tests, some of the cars as well. Uh, and when this phase is finished, we'll move into beta in about uh, two, three months. And then we'll uh, have release candidate, which will be vehicles nearly ready for production to be sold. And then we'll start a production. Okay. And what are some of the differences between the alpha, beta, and final production? Or, or do you know yet? Well, uh, with every phase of the vehicle, the, uh, the car become more production representative. So the material become more production representative, the grade of material that we're using they become more complete. You can see here we have a few parts which are still missing. And then the manufacturing process itself becomes more production representative. Rather than using prototype tooling, we'll be using production tooling. And rather than uh, having suppliers do at uh, third party locations, we'll be use making most of the uh, parts and systems in our plant in Fremont, California. Okay. And you were saying earlier that you're having a very open uh, method with your alpha builds and bringing in the press and you know you have windows in your alpha build room um, tell me how how unique and important that is well I, based on my experience this is extremely unique I am not aware of any other OEM automobile OEMs uh, that will be so open and showing our, our cars are built from the very beginning. Keep in mind, those are our first prototypes. And uh, we're very open with our investors, with our employees. Everybody come here. And this is so critical. You want to be able to get all the feedback from the employees to be able to, sh to, to make sure we have the best possible systems and ability to manufacture it without any flow. And as you can see, we have open windows. We're not hiding anything. We're very open here in the heart of the Silicon Valley. So you think this is kind of a new experience for automakers? Where Silicon Valley is teaching automakers how to be more open and, um, and more innovative. I would think so. I think, uh, and, and you will see here that the enthusiasm and the, pa and the passion of all the employees reflect this. You know, we want to make not only a unique car, but a very unique company, uh, drawing on the talent from all around the world and uh, a lot of different places. Okay, great. Can you walk me through some of the design features of the Model S? I know when I've looked at it before, one of the amazing things was that the battery was at the bottom and it's completely flat um, for aerodynamic sake and also to swap it out, right? Right, so uh, we're looking at an all-electric vehicle. Um, it's uh, all made out of aluminum, which is lightweight, and we have a very stiff body, which is excellent for noise and vibration and structural rigidity and stiffness, right and handling and safety. So that's the architecture, if you will, of the body. It's all aluminum. Uh, at the bottom of the vehicle, between the uh, two axis, axles, you ha have uh, the battery pack which is a thin uh, uh, component uh, where all the cells are, which provides extreme stability, very safe as well because it's in a protected zone and it's part of the structure. It's a very advanced uh, concept. Actually, it's a very unique concept. There is nothing like this uh, anywhere else. And it's a 300-mile range battery, which is the first kind of in the world, right? That's right. So we're going to start production with the battery pack, which will provide a range of 300 miles, which is uh, unparalleled at the moment yeah and uh, we have a rear wheel, rear wheel drive our architecture with the drive unit which is very tight and compact electric motor uh, transmission and the power electronics all packaged in an incredibly tight uh, uh, envelope uh, right uh, under uh, between the rear wheels okay. and then Peter was talking about the um, uh, drag in the front was designed so to be 
um, some amazing low drag coefficient. That's right. Uh, at the moment, you know, of course, we're looking at some prototypes, so we don't want to go public with some numbers. But the initial results we have correlate very much with what we were expecting in terms of the simulations and the computer. And this car is very aerodynamic, which is critical for uh, efficiency and to ensure that we have a long range. And so this is uh, Tesla's first electric vehicle built kind of from the ground up, designed from the ground up for to be an electric vehicle. And versus the Roadster was built off the Lotus chassis. I know it was very different in the result, but um, this is the first one built completely as an original EV, right? That's correct. You know, so there's a very high degree of vertical integration on this vehicle. We're going to be making our own stampings. We're going to be making a lot of our own plastic parts that go onto this vehicle. So it's a, a vertical integration to a much higher degree, if you will, than, uh, than what we had done with the Roadster before. Okay. And remind me of the price and when people can actually buy this. Well, people can reserve now, and they should not wait, you know, and start with the reservation now. Uh, you can go on our website, that's very easy. Uh, the deliveries will start one year from now, and the prices, you know, uh, start at about $50,000 after federal tax, uh, a federal rebate, uh, no, credit, sorry, I should say, uh, and then depending on the capacity of the battery will be uh, increments, you know.